I am fed up with this shit. No one ever gives you a number or a way to really calculate how much to charge for your prints. So I'm here to change that. My name is Moshe Levis and I've been doing landscape photography for about eight years now. Uh, I ran a photography magazine and sold a few highly priced uh, photos. So I've learned a thing or two about a thing or two. And I hope I can help you in your journey uh, as a landscape photographer. Now, if you've been doing landscape photography for a while now, you probably want to sell prints, but you're not quite sure how to price them correctly. If that's you, keep watching. If not, feel free to skip this video. As a landscape photographer myself, I've sold a few prints, but I never really knew how to price them. I wasn't sure if they should be affordable so more people can potentially purchase them or if they should be priced high to enjoy uh, you know, high profits, if anyone even, even buy expensive prints. Um, since then, life happened and my photography was kind of dormant. Until now. I'm back in the game and I plan to play it even better. So I also came up with this one way to calculate the price of every single image I want to sell and I hope my method can help you as well. Before we move on, I want to invite you to uh, the free landscape photography community I created on school.com. Just click the link in the description if you want to know more and see you over there. So. First, you should treat your print like any other product. The reason I came to that conclusion is because I do sell other products like the Mosh Planner, for example. But selling your prints is just like selling any other product out there. There are values added to every aspect of it. Functionality, uh, supply and demand, aesthetics, quality, production costs, and so on and so on. Second, Decide how much you want to earn in the next 12 months. Let's say you want to make $100,000 within one year. With that number in mind, it's easier to make calculations. $100,000 divided by 12 months is about $8,333 per month. Now, $8,333 divided by 30 days, give or take, is $278 per day. And yes, you can also do $100,000 divided by 365. Yeah, sure. Now that means you'll have to sell $278 worth of prints every single day. If you're asking me, it's very doable, especially if you focus your daily activities on selling your prints. Now. Here's how to calculate each and every print. If you stopped at $278 per print, you would have to sell about 360 prints. But if you're anything like me, you consider yourself an artist, just like Leonardo da Vinci. Which means you may feel your prints worth a lot more. Or if you lack the confidence, it can happen, you might feel your art is lesser than others. For that reason, we're going to take your emotions out of the equation almost completely. Number one, hours of work. Pick one of your prints or image on the computer if you haven't printed one yet. Think about how many hours you spent on it and include everything you can think of. Coming up with the idea, uh, getting to the location, shooting the image, editing the image, and even marketing the image. That number can be as low as one hour if you just you know, went outside to uh, shoot a flower. But it could also be as high as 32 hours and even more. Uh, if you planned for, let's say, five hours, drove for 20 hours, um, shot for five hours, edited for an hour, and uh, dedicated marketing for a whole hour. So yeah, that number can even go higher, as I said, to 50, 60, 70. It really depends where you're going and what you're doing. Now you have to figure out how much you want to get paid per hour. Do you want the same as you're getting paid at a nine to five job? Do you want double than that? It's really up to you. So let's agree for the sake of this video that we want to earn $40 per hour. So $40 
times 32 hours comes out to $1,280. And that is just your starting point without even knowing what size the print will be. Number two is difficulty. Every image you capture has a degree of difficulty to it. It may have been as easy as opening the kitchen window or as hard as uh, hiking a mountain for two days. You won't set the same monetary value to both extremes, right? So what I do is very simple. I decide how difficult it was to capture the image by giving it um, a number between 1 and 10 and I multiply the initial price by that number. So let's say our image was a 4 out of 10 in the scale of difficulty. That will bring the image to a price of $5,120. Whew! Nah, don't worry. Uh, don't be afraid of the number. It can still go down or up. Number three, additions. This is the part that is going to determine if your print will sell for more or less than $5,120, for example. If you like the idea of selling limited edition prints, which I do, then you already know, before even clicking this video, uh, that your prints should be considered high ticket items. Let's say you limit the prints to only 100. What you would do is very simple. You sell the first print at the number you got so far, which is $5,120, plus the cost of printing and framing if you'll be printing it. And every print after simply add 1%. That means that your final print of 100 will be worth about $13,848. I use ChatGPT for that, so it must be correct. I mean, it makes sense that the last piece will cost so much more, right? Makes sense. Hey, so if I sell something for $5,120, 100 times, but every time I add 1% to the price, what would be the 100th time price? To calculate this, we start with an initial price of $5,120. For each subsequent sale, we increase the price by 1%. This means for each sale, we multiply the previous price by 1.01. On one of the sales, the price will be $5,120 times 1.0 times 100. Let's calculate that. $5,120 times 1.0 times 100. Let's see. Supply and demand, just like any product. And yes, it will take longer to sell prints for uh, $5,000, but you'll only have to sell 20 of those and not 360. It's a big difference. Now, let's say you want to sell that print as open edition, meaning you can sell the same image to every person on this planet. And uh, maybe on Mars in a few years? Ilan, how about opening the first photo gallery uh, on Mars in 2030? Sounds good. Anyone else? Uh, anyway, in that case, I would not consider the hours and how difficult it was to capture. I would just stick to the original calculation that will get me to $100,000 within one year, which is $278 before adding the printing and the framing costs. Why do that? Very simple. An open edition print, at least to me, is a print I don't care that much about and would just be nice if lots and lots of people hang it on their walls. Nothing more, nothing less, that's what it is. And that, my friend, is how I calculate the price of each print I want to sell. Now, it sounds like a lot of work to do for every single print. So because of that, I created a simple calculator you can use uh, for free and speed up the whole pricing process. All in all, selling prints is like selling anything else. It's a brand that you're creating and your brand will determine if your prints will be sold for thousands or not. It's up to you, just like any clothing brands that sell the same damn t-shirt for very different prices.